This is a show about a manager and his team trying to increase a department's profit margin under the demands of the company's CEO. Target management concepts that will be covered are the three dimensions of a managerial job, managing resources, productivity, global mindset, sequential interdependence, and the decision-making process under the rational or classical model. We'll follow the manager's journey as he demonstrates the dimensions of a managerial job and manages his resources in a strategic and entrepreneurial manner. To this end, he will take us through the steps of the decision-making process following the rational or classical model in both individual and group settings. Nax Engineering is a top-tier company in the electrical engineering field. They specialize in creating innovative telecommunication ships, which they then assemble on site and sell to vendors. A manager at Nax needs to have a solid team in his midst in all avenues of production, from the conception of the product to the sales. And while they have great products, they realize that their human capital is their most valuable asset. They are responsible for hiring great talent as well as seeing through that all associates receive proper training. They must allocate resources effectively, stay updated on technology, and implement strategy to hold their competitive advantage over the industry. Nax is particularly known for their quality products and stellar service. Recently, the CEO of Nax Engineering has begun honing in on a substantial loss of profit over the last quarter and gave the manager an ultimatum to improve profit or risk unemployment. It's up to our hero, Derek, to identify problems that could be causing the lower profit and discover opportunities that could increase the profit. Despite the numbers on the profit and loss statement, the production team at Nax is quite a talented group of individuals. They are led by head manager Derek White. Derek is 35 years old and has been with Nax for six years. Last year, he graduated from USF with a bachelor's in entrepreneurship, and six months later, he was promoted to head manager because of his dedication and performance. As head manager, he oversees every sub-department of production. That's creation, assembly, quality testing, and sales. He's always looking for opportunities to apply his studies to his position and improve the department's bottom line. He is great at planning and balancing resources and usually has a very positive attitude. Derek is afraid of technological change and hesitant to take input from others. Tina is the lead creative designer at Nax. She's 23 years old and graduated top of her class from Stanford, majoring in electrical engineering and minoring in entrepreneurship. She has been with Nax for six months and was hired in as the lead creative designer because of her degree and recommendations from her previous internship. She has since introduced many new products that are Nax's top sellers and is highly respected by her peers. She embraces technology, is creative, and intelligent. However, she doesn't take criticism on her creations too well. She can also seem a bit strange at times and has strange creative habits, such as flipping the desk upside down when she's working. Mario was originally hired at Nax right out of high school 10 years ago as a cleanup guy and has gone through the ranks to reach his current position in assembly. Nax has sent him through several training seminars where he has consistently performed above average in the assembly field. He's very dedicated to Nax, but often gets sidetracked and tries to take shortcuts to get the job done. He thinks himself to be very wise and is always telling stories. He wishes to be a creative designer and is always making recommendations on Tina's creations. Tito is 26 years old and was hired as a quality control last month because of his experience in the quality control department of a local surfboard shop. He has a keen eye for detail and credits it to his experience as a surfer. He has just finished a training seminar where he learned to apply his eye for detail to quality testing on Nax products. Tito is always positive and motivating those whom he works closely with. He's in a constant state of aloofness and constantly tries to give off the appearance of curiosity. 
He can sometimes be messy and doesn't worry too much about using excessive resources, such as time or materials, because he remains focused on checking for quality. Lexi is 21 years old and was hired last year as a sales representative for Nax because of her bubbly personality, confidence, and always-be-closing mentality. Oftentimes, she's the face of Nax as she attends many of the formal meetings on behalf of the company in order to generate business as she forms relationships with vendors and pitches her products. She often acts as a monitoring liaison as she gathers information from clients and reports them to the team. She is working out well for the company. However, Lexi's confidence sometimes gets the best of her because she gets ahead of herself and can be stubborn in asking for help. <sighs> what am I going to do? Thank you for calling Nax, where quality is hey, our... Boss. Mr. Wayman from iOS is here for your meeting. Uh, all right, Lexi, I'll be right down. Derek, last month's bottom line was unacceptable. You better start making the company some profit, or I'll find somebody who can, 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 can. <sighs> but how am I going to do that? Ah, good morning, Andrew. How are you? Hey, doing great, dear Derek. Just here to sign an invoice for this month's uh, shipment. Which I have right here. Forty-five dollars? That's all we're selling each unit for? Let's see. We have the labor production team, then the cost of materials for each unit, and we sell that for forty-five dollars. Deduct the labor and materials to get thirty-six ninety-two minus Lexi's ten percent commission, which gives us thirty-two forty-two. Times 110 units a month gives us 35.65.83. Minus Tina's salary of $3,000 gives us $565.83 each month. Divide that by 110 and we $5.14 each. Well, Dad, that best be going now. Now, you y'all keep making them chips and I'll be back next month, you hear? Yes, absolutely, absolutely, sir. Hey, have a good day. Hey, I'll give you a call later, all right? Have a good day, sir. <laughs> hey, you. Hey, boss, how was the meeting? Oh, fine, Lexi, fine, good, thanks for asking. Hey, if anybody asks, I'll be in my office, all right? <sighs> Five bucks, huh? No wonder we're not making the boss's demands. You better start making the company some profit. <sighs> and then there's the constraints. And don't exceed your department's budget. Hey, boss man, what's going on? Uh, hey. Uh, whoops. I'll get it. Well, I guess as a manager, I do have a discretion here. What should I change? Hmm. Yes, we need a change here. Hmm. Let's identify where decisions need to be made. Huh. What problems or opportunities do we really have here? Ah, creative department. You know, I really don't expect any problems with Tina. How can we improve on the last chip? That was my best work. But what was it lacking? Ah, just as I expected. Good old Tina, working diligently as always. Eureka! Instead of thinking about the chip itself, let's explore peripheral devices. Hmm, good idea. Mm-hmm. You know, Tina's sure an odd one, but she's self-driven and highly productive. Huh. Let's see who else we have. Ah, production department. Let's see what they do. 
And I tell you what, you won't believe it. I pulled it up, and it was a full-fledged waffle inside the ice cream cone. This big. Hey, <laughs> easy, man. Waffles are known for that sort of evasiveness. No, no, no. You got it wrong, my man. Them waffles give you two for one. Here, let me show you. If I take that chip, and I put its port on the top end, it's going to bounce like so. Ah, oh, live it, man. Hey, man, where's that chip at? Ah, I'll just get another. <laughs> uh... uh... <laughs> Tito. Okay, let's go see the sales floor. Yes, sir, we have the 3500 in stock. Oh, well, that's good, sweetie. Well, tell me, how does it compare to the other chips on the market? Well, sir, let me tell you, it does have more processing power. Oh, well, is that all? I, I really don't need any more speed. Well, sir, this will be an upgrade that you definitely notice. Well, no thank you, dearie. Bye-bye now. <sighs> oh, she had that one, too. <sighs> all right, I think I've seen enough here. <coughs> Attention, all Nax employees. Report to the meeting room in five minutes. Thank you. Ah, <sighs> all right now. So what do we want to accomplish in this meeting? I know that we want to get those materials down. And those sales. I know Lexi can do better than that. Yes, that's what we'll address in this meeting. Oh, better get to it. Hmm, what do you guys think the meeting's about? Man, I even know, Lexi. Man, I hope they're going to be talking about them vending machines, though. You know what I'm talking about? Man, your boy Mario stay hungry all day. <clears throat> all right. Thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks for coming. Uh, I'm going to get right into it. Our CEO wants us to increase our profit. So I looked into it, and I evaluated all of our departments to identify areas where we could use some improvement. Now, our objective in this meeting is to discuss ways to minimize those problem areas and increase our profit. Oh, all right, boss man. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, for starters, I notice in our production department, we've been very relaxed lately when it comes to supplies and materials, and I'm afraid that it's cutting into those profits. So, moving forward, is there any ideas on how we can better keep track of this? Oh, hey, man, your boy got you covered. Man, I'm going to just estimate at the end of the day what I used. Yeah, boss man, you know, I use, like, the Goldilocks amount when I'm out there doing the deal, you know? <laughs> no, gentlemen, I'm afraid that's not going to work. Um, what I would suggest is that you document, as you complete each case of chips, how much material that you used. Now, this is also going to benefit you guys as well, because, remember, our inventory will always be fairly accurate this way, and we'll never run low again on materials and supplies. Hey, you the boss, man. You got it. Yeah, boss man. Inventory is going to be righteous next month. <laughs> yep, that's the point, boys. Now, let's discuss the sales department. <clears throat> Lexi, I witnessed a couple of sales where you didn't pitch the 3500 model's key ability and optimal selling point of wirelessly synchronizing all audio devices within the network. Well, boss, they said they didn't want the upgrade. No way! We have the only telecommunications chip on the market with universal network sync. Really? Yes, Lexi. I'll see what we can do to fix that in the future. As you know, knowledge of your product is key to selling. And you already have the confidence. We just need to make sure that you have the training. Oh, thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. Just sit tight. I'll get back to you on that, and we'll figure something out. Okay. All right. Great talk, team. All right, again... Get ready for some changes that are going to make us a more productive, more profitable team in the future. Again, thank you for coming, guys. Thank you for coming. Yeah, you the man, boss. You the man. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to make a couple shirts of the boss man on it. <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. <laughs>